So, the Rambam continue. Everyone who accepts on himself to keep the seven laws of Noah and carefully observe them, Hareze, he is or she, Hasidei Umot Haolam, the righteous Gentile of the nations of the world. They are very high level people, very high level, whether they are European, whether they are Arabs, whether they are Oriental, it's no difference. They keep the seven laws, doesn't matter, they're white, black, Asian, whatever they are, it's no difference whatsoever. The body, look, color, or anything like that, does not add or decree from their spiritual level whatsoever. Same thing among Jews. You're dark, you're light, you're blonde, color of your eyes, none of that make you righteous or wicked. Only actions. And he has a share to the world to come. These Gentiles have, when they die, heaven of Gentiles. It's much better than the hell the wicked Jews will get. Much better. He fulfilled his mission in life, his God. When the Messiah would come, they will remain. They won't die. Wicked Jews and wicked Gentiles will be clean from the face of the earth. There's hundreds of verses and sources for it. Among the prophets and the Zohar, the Holy Zohar, the Kabbalah. That's not the topic now. But they will remain. They will see the Jews building the third temple. There will be no antisemitism, no war, no armies, no weapon. All nations would live in peace. That's it. Everyone will know there's only one real religion. The religion of God is Judaism only. Everything that came later was all fake. Now everyone knows it. The righteous Gentiles who survive and the righteous Jews. Everybody knows it. No disagreement about that. So it's not, a, it's not open for debate. <laughs> But the Rambam makes a comment, and it's very important to know. This is only on a condition that the Gentiles keep the seven law because it's the command of God, and not because it's logical to human logic. Why are you not a murderer? It's not, it's not ethical to murder. You believe in God? No. You believe in the soul? No. You believe in the afterlife? No. So why don't kill? It says you should not kill. I can care less what it says. I don't believe in the Torah. I don't believe in God. I don't believe in the Ten Commandments. I'm an atheist. So why you don't steal? Because it's not ethical. It has zero reward. Why you don't murder? Because it's not ethical. Why you don't bow down to this Buddha like the rest of your going friends? Because it's stupid. Why it's stupid? Someone just made it in a factory yesterday. This is going to be my God? I don't believe in any God. Needless to say, a piece of metal. It doesn't get a reward. Zero reward. It's not a righteous Gentile. Because that's common sense. He did, do, he did nothing divine here. But if you do it because God said so, same thing Jews. Why don't you steal? Because it's not ethical. Society cannot tolerate thieves. That's not an act. There's not a noble act here. It's not a divine righteousness. It's only righteousness when you do it because Hashem said so. Do you get the point or no? Let me read to you the words of the Rambam. Ve'u sheyekabel otam ve'yaseh otam mipnei sheziva bahem hakadosh baruch hu batorah. This is only that he keeps them and accept them because Hashem commanded those seven laws in his Torah and informed the world with his messenger Moses 
that the children of Noah, meaning all the Gentiles of the entire world, they are commanded to keep them by Hashem. But if he does it because it's required by common sense, and the ger toshav, he is not, he does not have the privilege to remain, to live in the Holy Land as a ger toshav, as a residence of, the, of, of Israel. No, because he's not a righteous Gentile. You send him back to a different place. Find yourself a place you cannot stay in the land of God. He's not considered a righteous Gentile. This comment most people don't know. 